Hello and welcome to the DNS class. This would be the third session understanding the zones. So what is a zone? So zones are divided to administer the large uh, domain name resolution. So let us see a picture so where we can understand uh, zones better. So here if you see in the picture, so we have large domains like uh, Microsoft.com which would have training.microsoft.com, technology.microsoft.com, download.microsoft.com and uh, it would continue to have large domains. To administer these large domains, it would be very difficult for uh, any of the company. So for that reason, so <coughs> they would have something called as zones. Zones are distributed. So we'll say zone. Domains can be organized into zones for administrative purposes. Okay, to administer. One reason to divide a domain name space into zones is to delegate authority for different portions of it. Suppose if you have large amount of portions like you have training.microsoft.com, you have sales.microsoft.com, marketing.microsoft.com and technology.microsoft.com. So each one would be given delegated access to each administrator. So that's why we create zones. So zones are organized and they are being given delegated to different administrators to administer the name server okay one very large domain is difficult to administer so that's why it has been subdivided and it is provided access the name to IP address data for computers located in zone is stored in a zone database file on the domain name server so we have something called as a zone database file on a domain name server so each information so whatever the information which is there IP to name name to IP so those information would be stored on a zone database file so so here we would have a primary zone database file so this is how it looks in the name server so you will have primary zone database file and you will have a secondary zone database file so this is the database file where it would store the information okay so now let us learn what is a name server name server holds primary zone database file database file for a zone so each zones so which has been divided so it could be you will have primary zone and secondary zone so each one would have a database file so name server will have authority to make changes to this particular file so you will have a server here is the server the name server so it would have the primary zone database file okay and that file will contain your IP to name name to IP information and the name server would have the complete authority to do changes for your primary zone database file that's what we are talking about name server will have authority to make changes to the zone file so that is the file which we were talking about we can also have a copy of zone file stored on another server to balance the network so suppose why do we have one more uh, secondary server because usually what happens is if you have a high amount of uh, users like uh, 10 lakh users who is logging onto the network and trying to access large amount of data from your server that is your DNS server so it would be very difficult to resolve the IP to name name to IP so for that to balance the network load so we would have one more server that is called as secondary or secondary server and even that would have a zone database file so you would have two that is one is called as primary zone database file and the one would have secondary zone database file okay so that's what we have mentioned here 
we can also have a copy of zone file stored on another server so that is called a secondary um, server another server to balance the network load and that is called secondary zone database file so in the picture it shows the secondary zone database file here the secondary zone database file is regularly updated from primary zone database file so this particular primary zone data, secondary zone database file is all, almost it's regularly updated from this primary zone database file why is it updated from primary zone database file because so the primary zone database file will have all the information suppose whenever you have large amount of network load on the primary zone database file so that would transfer the request to the to the secondary zone database file and uh, this would go ahead and resolve the queries so that's the reason this primary zone database file is regularly replicated and updated with the secondary zone database file and this the process of updating the primary zone database file to the secondary zone database file so primary zone database file to the secondary zone database file the data which has been updated so this particular process is called as zone transfer so the secondary zone database file is regularly updated from primary zone database file this process of updating the primary zone to secondary zone is called as zone transfer so we need to understand this so from this we understand either zone, primary zone or secondary zone can resolve the IP address to name, name to IP address. So this is what is the conclusion which we have come and we have understood what is a name server. We will go to the next process of understanding what is a name resolution process. So it is a process of sending query for one or series of name servers to locate the IP address of the requested computer so you will have a requested computer what we were speaking about that is web server dot web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com okay that is the fqdn the request contains fqdn of the requested computer the query contains the fqdn of the requested computer so let us see a picture which defines the name resolution So here the name resolution process. So the, the name resolution process is started from the client. There is one client computer which is being sent to the name server and this particular name server refers to the zone database file which is there located on the name server so which we were talking about. And let us see how the process happens. So here so when the client requests for the name server so internal network we are talking about the internal network so web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com is being sent from the it, 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 a request is sent from the client and web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com it hits the web server one dot training dot microsoft dot com if it is able to resolve it here itself okay it goes ahead and resolves in the first stage if it is not able to resolve here so then it goes ahead and hits the next required server so here it finds what it requires the web server so it resolves here or in case if it is an uh, internet based information suppose if you are querying something which is out of your network external network so we are considering this as an internal network so suppose if you are querying unix services dot co dot in so what does it do it goes ahead and hits this name server so it is not able to resolve it is not there here then it goes ahead and hits um, the main primary server and checks here if it is not found here and then it goes back and checks the name server here not found goes to the root main server and checks here and then it finds the information and it comes ahead from the same process and resolves to the client so this particular process of resolving from the root server to com com to the primary 
server and then to the secondary server and then then to the other internal server and then resolving to the client process is called as forward lookup query so that's what we have just put in here so let us understand that forward lookup query is a request to map a name to a name to an IP address that IP address or a name is nothing but a fully qualified the name is nothing but a fully qualified domain name so that's what we are talking about <clears throat> so that is the name resolution process it is a process of sending query from one or series of computers it might be 10 clients which is just sending at a time to locate the IP address of the requested computer so the requests may flow in so one person may request for unix services dot co dot in other person may request for an internal IP internal request that would be uh, training.microsoft.com or another person may request for something which is there a uh, different one so that would be linux.com or linux.org so whatever may be so like this the requests flow in and then once the requests flow in it just goes ahead and hits and then tries to find the information from all the above from root domain and then it resolves it and this is nothing but the internet the dot which we are talking about so on the internet you will have many root servers so it would resolve it from there so this process is called as forward lookup query and that ends the DNS class <coughs> so we will just next continue in the next session about the DNS records and thank you for viewing